Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. In part 4 of this video series, we briefly touched upon mixing synchronous and asynchronous code in Cypress. In this video, we are going to see that in much more detail. The other topic that we are going to cover in this video is the usage of for loop in Cypress. Now, when you find an element, there are cases when you get a collection back and yes, you have the methods like equal, uh, you have a first, last uh, and with the help of those methods, you can identify your element based on the respective index. But that is not sufficient in each and every case. At times, you have to iterate through that collection and based on certain property, you identify your element. So we require for loop in those cases. So let's start first with mixing synchronous and asynchronous code. And as you know, Cypress commands are asynchronous in nature. So in here, we have some of the Cypress commands. So we have cy.visit, cy.get, we have type, and we have got click as well. And we also have some synchronous code like console.log. So you see, I'm visiting a page, and then I'm logging this to the console, all right? And the website that we are going to work upon is this conduit, and we are simply going to work on this login page. So in the test case, we are visiting the website, we are logging to the console. We are identifying the email element, we are typing something into it, and then we are logging again, and so on. All right, so we have got the mixed bag of commands. We have got synchronous and asynchronous commands, right? And now we have to understand how Cypress treats these commands differently. And to do so, we have to open the Cypress runner, and we have to open the developer's toolbar. We have to go to sources, and you might have realized that I've already executed this once, right? So you have to execute it once and then you have to open the developer's toolbar and uh, open the sources. Now you have to open two files. You have to focus on two files. So uh, since we are working on uh, React products website, so we'll find this in here. Just expand this and then you have to expand Cypress runner. And under that you have Cypress runner.js. So open that in here. Then we have to open our test case file. So for that, uh, open your spec and then this is the application that we are working on right so then you have to expand this particular folder and click on your test case file now we are seeing the test case all right in here now you have to apply a breakpoint to apply the breakpoint you just have to click on a particular line all right so breakpoint is now applied i'm just re-executing my test case all right so you see application is paused in the debugger mode great so now I have to click on okay step over next function call. So okay, so my uh, cursor is in here now. Okay. Now the thing is right, you could see that we have executed the cy.visit command, but I still don't see any home page in here. This section is still blank. Okay. If I again click on this. Now I see first log. So the thing is, as you could see that, you know, Cypress commands are not executed right away, right? There's something happening behind the scene and we are going to see that, but the synchronous commands are getting executed immediately, all right? So I just keep on clicking this. Cypress commands will not execute immediately, but this synchronous command when we are logging to the console, first log, second log, third log, and fourth log, they would get executed okay so now we have reached the end of the test case file there are no more commands to be executed now see how does cypress work so for that you have to open cypress runner and you have to look out for this particular line when you have constant command is equal to q at index so basically what's happening is behind the scene right all those commands are being in queued right so we have applied a breakpoint in here and now I am going to click on this. Alright, so now you could see that we have got a collection of commands that we have executed. So the first command we executed was visit. And if we expand the attributes, we are going to see the data that we passed same way the second command was, I guess, get, okay, and we passed in the email attribute and so on, all right? So this is how our commands are in queued first, okay? They are not executed. Now to execute those, we just have to click on this and then these commands will execute it 
in the order they got added to the queue all right so you could see that the first command is executed all right and we just keep on doing this now it has it is identifying as you could see the second element all right uh, then you click on it it has now executing the third command all right click on it it is going to execute the fourth command click on it fifth command then it is going to add and so on all right so sixth would be it is going to identify this particular uh, button and seventh would be it clicks on that all right so this is how things are being done so all your synchronous code is executed immediately but your cypress commands are asynchronous so they would be first queued up and then executed later so what is a queue a queue is a linear data structure in which elements can be inserted only from one side of the list called rear and the elements can be deleted only from the other side called the front the queue data structure follows the fifo which is first in and first out principle that is the element inserted at first in the list is the first element to be removed from the list the insertion of an element in the queue is called as in queue operation and the deletion of an element is called as a dequeue operation all right great so let me just quickly remove all the breakpoints close this thing and yes now we have to take this concept forward all right so if the concept that i explained is clear we can easily resolve one of the problem that is there in this test case now let's understand what i am trying to achieve so we are going to hit the same conduit sign in page we are going to identify all the anchor tags we want to fetch the text of all the anchor tags and put that in an array now we have created this array to store the text of all the anchor tags all right so cy.get is going to return as the collection of anchor tags now we have to iterate over the collection so we can either use each or we can also use then and for combination so let's first start with each right so we are going to say each iterate over each of the element available in this collection and with the help of callback you can define your logic and the logic that we have to write is we have to fetch the text of each of these anchor tag and we have to push that in this array so this is what we have written in here now you know uh, once this code is executed in this particular array will have text of all the anchor tags but this is synchronous this is asynchronous and this is also synchronous so what will happen so this will be executed immediately this will be queued up this will be executed again immediately and what would be the outcome of that currently you see it is empty so length would be zero and there is no element inside this array so join operation will fail means that there will be an empty string all right so it is not going to work let us see that so let me save this and execute this program all right so as, as i mentioned anchor tag count is zero and anchor tag text string this is empty now to fix that is very simple right so what you have to say is okay once this is resolved all right so you are queuing up the thing all right so the logic that you have to work on is this right so this is your logic but you have to then queue this up right and how you can do that with the help of then and in then you again pass in the callback but this gives you the opportunity to run your code once the previous command has been executed right so you just grab this thing from here and paste the same in here that's it so just save it and go back to our test runner okay so you see the result now great now you can also use the alias in here then you refer to that alias and again use that then so uh very simple right so just uh, let me show you that quickly so we just say as and we save that in some kind of uh, let, let us give it a name my array okay and then you simply say cy dot get okay and you just access that alias so you say my array and once you have it then you use this then, then command uh, it is going to deliver the same all right so you can also do it this way all right so there is no difference so we have worked with the each part we also have the the for uh, method right so how can we do that so let us see that 
so what can we do in here let, let me grab some of the code so we just have the cy.get okay once i have this i want to invoke the then method and this is going to give me a collection of elements all right all the anchor tags once i have those i just want to use the for loop so this is my for loop and instead of array i have this okay and i want to do something similar in here okay but i have to make a little change so you have to say array dot push and then you have to say cypress dot dollar and you have to say els index dot text so this way you are going to fetch the text of each of these elements and push that into the array now once you have this you can again use then so i just uh, I take a copy from here so we are pretty good so let us execute this and see if it works or not all right so it works okay so what you can also do now is you can return this array from here directly right and now this array would be accessible inside this then callback so you can give it a name let's say my array and just to differentiate it with this uh, this these two arrays right uh, so now whatever is being returned from here okay so we are just accessing that so let me save this and rerun this thing all right so even uh, this thing works great all right let's take it to the next level so this far we have uh, understood how cypress mixes this synchronous and asynchronous code then we learn uh, how to iterate over the collection but at times you know we also need to uh, break our loop once a condition is satisfied okay so now we are going to see that so in this very test case we are just creating a collection of numbers from 0 to 9 and with the help of this for loop we are simply printing the list to the console so when you run this you're going to see something like this on to the console now what i want to do is the moment the value is 5 i want to break out from this loop okay and to do so i have to say if array index the value is equal to 5 i just want to break from this loop else i just want to print the values so now this is going to print 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. The moment value is 5, this loop will break out. So let us execute this. Right? So this is how we can break a loop in JavaScript. Pretty simple, straightforward, right? Now we have to mix it with the Cypress code. Alright, so now my next test case is I want to find a specific anchor tag based on its text and I want to click on it. Okay? So how to do that? So we are going to make use of the same code. So let me just grab this. Paste this in here. Uncomment this whole thing. And make the required changes. I am not going to use alias. I am simply going to use then. And in here we have to write our for loop. So let me grab this for loop and paste it in here. And make the required changes so let us change this array first of all to we have arr okay this is our array next thing that we have to do is i don't require this and in here yes i'm going to break out the moment i find the relevant uh, text uh, but before that uh, i have to change this value as well and this is going to be sign up and based on the text how can i identify that element yes you guessed it right either you can go for cy.contains but i uh, use let's say cy.get and i provide an uh, anchor tag but you know i uh, am dependent on this okay so this particular value so i'm going to use the string literal and i'm going to say anchor tag which contains the text so it is going to be like this and in here I just pass in this particular value like that 
and I have my element I simply need to now click on this so I click it I think we are pretty good so let me save it and run this there you go so we clicked on the sign up button and we're pretty good and this video we have learned quite a lot right we started with learning how Cypress mixes the, the synchronous and asynchronous code and then we uh, learned about uh, you know how can we iterate over the uh, collection to find uh, the, the element that we want to work with and we can go for each and we can also go for four methods all right so i hope you like this thank you so much